Hola, mi nombre es Héctor Javier Feliciano Ayala. Actualmente estoy en mi último año en la Universidad de Christopher Newport. Estoy estudiando estudios interdisciplinados con concentraciones en psicología, sociología y liderazgo. Nací y me crié en Puerto Rico en una familia muy humilde y de padres muy trabajadores. Alan Joniel es mi hermanito de 10 años y es la persona que más amo en este mundo. I believe there are two types of people in this world. Those who will let obstacles and challenges stop them from accomplishing what they want and those who will fight to overcome those challenges. I'm the type of person who will fight to overcome challenges. At the age of 17, I made the decision to come here to America to pursue an education and play college basketball. Unfortunately, many times one cannot have all what we want in life. My family didn't come with me. They stay in Puerto Rico. Leaving my family behind to pursue what has always been a dream was one of the hardest things of my life. I moved to America without knowing any English and lived with a host family who didn't speak any Spanish. At school, rather than being placed in an ES, ESL program, I was taking courses that regular American students were taking. Within six months, I was able to understand and speak English pretty fluently. I not only excel in the classroom, but also on the court. I was heavily recruited out of high school, which brought me here to CNU. So far, college has been a great learning environment for me. While in college, I have discovered my love not only for basketball, but also for family, friends, and service. Of the court, I have been involved in our campus community, as well as in our local community. I have served as president of our school's SAC, led admission tours, worked as a building supervisor in the Freedom Center, hosted recruiting visits, and led college orientation groups. I have also led a number of outreach programs, such as Fifth Quarter, SLAM, and Youth Volunteer Court. This program consists mainly of mentoring at risk adolescents in the Newport News community. I have also found time to be part of several mission trips. Like during my spring break or sophomore year, I drove up with a bunch of other students to Newark, New Jersey, where we spent a week uh, doing mission work and helping out with the church. This past summer, I found time between my internship at Cannon, Virginia, to travel with Athletes in Action to Colombia where I not only competed, but I also serve as the interpreter and mentor for the group. I will use the sport of basketball as a platform to foster, to foster education, and it has both health and fitness in the communities of Brazil and hopefully Argentina. The ultimate outcome of my plan is to empower children to become productive adults who will engage in healthy lifestyles, manage life challenges, and become leaders within their communities and the world. During the first month, I will focus on building relationships with the locals, as well as organizations like YMCA, Athletes in Action, KUFA, and Game Changers. This year, I have been working with the YMCA on basketball projects to engage youth in the community. Having established a relationship with the YMCA now will help me in Brazil where the first YMCA was found. Athletes in Action is a Christian organization that uses basketball as a platform for ministry. Because I have previously worked with Athletes in Action on past projects, I know they have affiliates all over the world, including Brazil and Argentina. And I know for a fact that they will be more than willing to cooperate with me in this project. CUFA's presence in all 27 states of Brazil and in Argentina will help me to develop projects in the areas of education, environment, culture, and sports. Game Changers, a campaign that Architecture for Humanity and Nike developed will help me to encourage community organizations to empower youth through sports. Program and activities planning will be the focus of the second month. Pay it Forward Scholarship and Nice on the Courts are two programs I would like to implement. Pay it Forward will provide scholarship support for families that are unable to afford for their children to participate in sports. Night on the Court, similar to Made Not Basketball program established in Richmond, Virginia, will provide youth an opportunity to participate in healthy positive activities with other youth as well as adult mentors. Air Force Scholarship, Night on the Court program, workshops, camps and clinics, speakers and community activities will take place during the third and fourth months. I will also put local leader, leaders and partnership organizations in charge of these projects. This will give me a better idea of the people who will be eventually keeping the program sustainable. The main goal during the last month is to empower local leaders as well as partner organizations to continue carrying the projects and to continue leading the youth into becoming emerging leaders. 
I am the best candidate for this grant because I love basketball, people, culture, and I'm completely passionate about serving others. Being from Latin America and having balanced the life of a student athlete while being an active member of the graduate community have equipped me with the skills and quality necessary to be, to be this year's Shooting Touch recipient. Clearly, I can tell you about how great I am for this grant, but I prefer to have others explain why I'm the best candidate. Hector is the best candidate for the grant because I have seen a passion in him for helping others as well as for basketball. I endorse Hector because he is a natural born leader. I think leadership in general, there's a deficit in our nation. So I think that Hector will be one of the top emerging leaders. To share his knowledge and passion for education and sports and fitness with other people. I've seen Hector really as a servant leader. Um, as a servant leader, he always makes sure that all the student athletes' voices are heard. This grant stipend will be used to fund programs such as the Pay It Forward Scholarship, Night on the Course, Before and After School Activities, Airfare, Equipment, and also the hiring and training of leaders who will make the program sustainable. I also intend to find a local family through a partnership organization who will allow me to stay with them for a small stipend. I believe this is the best option because it will not only allow me to save money, but also allow me to break cultural barriers by understanding the people who I'm serving better. Tearing my ACL during my senior year might have ended my college career, but it has marked the beginning of a new journey where I will be using basketball as a tool for social change.